Dr. Swarchla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Infertility can be broadly classified into two types, primary infertility and secondary infertility. Primary infertility is defined as infertility when pregnancy has not occurred even once. Well, basically, if a couple has tried for one year without contraceptive pills or condoms and had had a regular intercourse and still not able to achieve pregnancy, it is called as primary infertility. The second kind is secondary infertility. Secondary infertility is when a pregnancy has already occurred and you're not able to achieve pregnancy the next time it is called as secondary infertility. Secondary infertility can be again of three varieties. One is where a patient has got pregnant but has had a miscarriage that is also termed as secondary infertility. Next is when a patient has got pregnant but has had an ectopic pregnancy. An ectopic pregnancy is when a pregnancy has taken place either in the tube or in the cervix. So to say it is anywhere else other than the endometrium. So it could be in the abdomen, it could be in all these areas other than the endometrium. This is termed as ectopic pregnancy. The third kind is yes, you had a normal, live, healthy delivery. Now of the three, uh, the ectopic, the miscarriage or the delivery, after delivery, not being able to conceive is a very common form of secondary infertility. There could be many causes. Mostly the causes are mild as in if there is a fluctuation in thyroid which is called as hypothyroidism. If it is low then it is estimated that you may not be able to get pregnant again. If your prolactin is high that is if you are still breastfeeding your child then there is a chance that you are not able to get pregnant so that is another thing that your doctor will look into. Or the most important thing is age. Definitely your age is more than what you were at the time of first delivery. Therefore, age is a very important factor when secondary infertility cause is being looked at. Then comes weight. If your weight is more, if you were not able to lose weight after your first delivery, if your weight is more, if your BMI is more than what it should be according to your height and weight, then also there is a root cause for your infertility. Weight has to be according to your BMI so that proper hormonal balance is maintained in your body. The next cause of secondary infertility could be tubal blockage. Studies have shown that one third of secondary infertility cases are reported due to tubal blockage. So it's a very important thing. It could probably be because of the previous pregnancy, it could have been a normal delivery or the entire pregnancy procedure could be the cause of tubal blockage. And it is estimated that it is one of the major causes of secondary infertility after a live healthy baby. Then comes ovulatory problems. Ovulatory problems also are associated with secondary infertility because much as you might think that everything is the same, uh, my periods are the same, the weight is bleeding also is not very different, but there could be some imbalances or some disturbances in your ovulation of the egg. So definitely that has to be looked into and your doctor will definitely guide you accordingly. Research has shown that of the infertile couples that come to a infertility clinic, 40% are primary infertility and 60% are secondary infertility. So it is a very important factor. Secondary infertility is definitely forming a major chunk of the infertile uh, couples population. Therefore, it has to be carefully looked at. Of course, like I said, it could be due to miscarriages, ectopic or also after a delivery. Therefore, it has to be very carefully looked at and it is also a serious problem as serious as a primary infertility case. The investigations and the tests are very similar to primary infertility patient. If you want to understand more about secondary infertility, if you're trying for the next pregnancy, if you've had a miscarriage or an ectopic pregnancy, you want to understand how to get pregnant soon, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.